topic for discussion is, is the agents necessary. So um, I would like to start with a question. On what basis are we setting the standards for beauty? Because the concept of beauty is different from person to person. Um, there is no single definition or you know, this, is, this means beautiful, this means ugly. There is no concept of that. So who is deciding? Just three or four people sitting there and then they judge this entire team and then they pick one. I don't understand the point of choosing one among them because there is no concept that this is what is called beautiful. Okay, this is a dubious question. So I would like to highlight both the pros as well as the cons of this organizing these beauty pages. So when I go with the pros, can be uh, so many people are into it. Models uh, can be both women as well as men. They are dedicating their life to it. They are they are working out daily. Some of uh, some of them are practicing yoga on the stage for uh, for uh, their better way. So uh, uh, they, they, I think that their dedication should be noticed. So uh, it will be good if uh, their uh, these beauty pageants are organized. As well as uh, they will get career growth for them. All these people get chances in arts as well as movies. And I would like to cite the example of Moon She was the Miss Kerala. She got to, she's actor. Then uh, in these beauty pageants, it's not only the beauty, it's the confidence as well as their speaking ability they are judging. So at the end they'll be having a one minute talk or something like this, uh, I guess. So this will be uh, Raising these qualities in them, their self development is also exhibited here. As well as uh, through these beauty events, uh, some of the companies are getting a chance to advertise their products as well. So, all the ad companies also, are also very frequently. So, these are the pros I want to highlight on. So, regarding, uh, regarding what Rishana and Anjana said, I would like to add that uh, as Rishana said, we are Leaving, uh, we are going to society where society is setting some standards. Uh, so, what is beauty? What is ugly? As we are into the society, the condition to find that the fair, skinny, like uh, fair ladies, beauty, and other, other things like uh, other kind of uh, dark complexion girls are like um, inferior, and uh, that kind of societal appeals uh, and societal conditioning and that. So, in, in a positive way, we can, there is some instance where uh, like uh, people from different parts of the world, different color, race, and religion have been, I don't know, Mr. Universe, uh, Miss India, or like Miss Universe, Miss World, or all these uh, types of stuff. So when we go in with the trend, uh, with beauty patent stats, beauty patent competitions, etc., uh, in a way, uh, helpful for breaking the societal ambition and societal stereotype. So, we can uh, we can agree that it is not a necessity, but in a positive sense, we can add it as a, as a societal tool, marketing tool to break this stereotype of being uh, fair skinned ladies being straight as the most beautiful persons in the world. In a way, I think uh, it feels as like a societal uh, revolutionary technique and also a brand marketing and revenue generating uh, technique as Anjana pointed out. Uh, many of these brands. We participate in this competition to gain brand marketing and brand value. So that is also a career program, and a career opportunities and avenues for these uh, models and all these things. So they have been working for that. So they have been preparing for that. So and also these beauty competitions are uh, decided ultimately decided based on this intellectual uh, capability and also physical um, physical standards. So, uh, in my opinion, it's not a necessity. You can try without that, or you can leave without that. But in the positive sense, it can be used for the betterment of the women as a whole, and as a uh, casual development of the mentality of society as a whole. Uh, and you are correct, Omar, but uh, you are not only saying about the women, there are also men who are participating. From my point of view, uh, beauty competitions are necessary because, uh, in my uh, Point of view that beauty is uh, uh, um, beauty means it's uh, spontaneity, confidence, hard work, and it's, it's a combination of all the things. Not not only the looks, but uh, the looks are like the way they presented in front of the audience is not something that gained by birth. It 
it's a result of hard work for years actually. So uh, it's um, like the, there is some misconception that people with a, a white or skinny people can achieve. But uh, two years back, an African lady uh, won the title. So it can break some stereotypes that beauty is based on color, caste, creed. It's not like that. It's about the spontaneity. Like there is a last time we ask some questions and they all take their, their knowledge and uh, their spontaneity it's all all the things are under consideration so it's not not it's not about only the beauty it's about the uh, knowledge wisdom and uh, yeah so. and it gives a kind of message that beauty is not just about the looks but uh, about the confidence and how we speak how we react and all these things are also being tested at the uh, I think at the end of the program, I think, and based on that, we are selecting. Uh, but beauty is something very, like, you know, sensitive, and we take it like really into us. And then, you know, uh, at the end of the competition, we are being out, and out of the competition, and then it can bring in some kind of like insecurity. Oh, I don't look good, or I'm not beautiful enough. And it can bring in some kind of like, you know, real insecurities in them, and it can it really hurt. The other person's feelings because that is something we can we value so much. So that is one problem. But at the same time, we're getting a platform to uh, you know exhibit our beauty and to present in front of the world and being recognized and also the career opportunities that comes behind it. There are also people who take it falsely. Like they they lose also. They will be motivated for more. They are more developed. Teaching there is not easy. So uh, process of it's a it's a kind of hard work. Like, uh, I don't think a person who failed mm. in beauty competition. My opinion, there is no necessity for fashion shows or something like that or beauty pages because uh, that's what if, if you want to show confidence or beauty, you know, we want to that beauty is in, not in for face or fairness like that. That's in our confidence or something like that for hard work. See, that's special that hard work. That's also that all together. Yes, there is a comes a beauty. So why there is a need of a fashion shows or something like that? The, the fashion show for beauty agency is only the benefit beneficiary for the uh, companies or the, the fashion or dress companies like that or fairness green companies like that. There is no need of the their beneficiary. They are the only beneficiaries of that and also the modelings. They get money. They work for that. Their their prof, uh, professional field is also. It's also part of the career. Yeah, they only get the beneficiary. The society. The society. There is there is something. There is something I, I think if somebody is get uh, somebody is get for that so, so many people are waiting for to get the, that job or that career. There are some insecurities insecurities uh, within the normal people. If uh, if uh, someone have that uh, want to be there want to be a model in, in a society or stereotypic situation, but they cannot get uh, the, there is a main uh, if they have no fair skin or they have no money. Something like that, they cannot get there. That, that, that feelings, that insecurity, insecurities are in their mind. So there is no need to show conducted fashion show or they can dress up and say they make up. They they make up and that's not an actual beauty. If, if we, I also saw a fashion show some, sometimes I in old category highlight mark once and that they are bring so many makeups and dress up well and they come to show show. If if the beauty is not in the fairness or skin or in the rest of the scenes. So why then why we are participating in that program? That is only beneficiary for the marketing or companies. Yeah. Okay. The companies will support that. Okay. And support the builders because I do my own why sorry. And support the fires. In my opinion, beauty is not necessary for everyone. Okay, while coming while we talk about the fact, we have studying the business management, right? When we are going to interview, you know, they will see your beautiness or you will or your skills or your talents or your hard work. So okay. Of course, we will see the hard work and everything. Okay? This is the way we are uh, we have to serve. Everyone should be suppose that suppose that beauty is not necessary. Because uh, as uh, the beautiness will be they damage their soul, their mind and its uh, kindness uh, and many of the people will be Felt guilty, we are not beauty, we are not a proper, we are not in good looking. So they will feel that very bad. Actually, we, what we hear is the point was we have to see the internal of the person. Okay, we have to see the internal of the person, not the external of the person. External looks, uh, the external looks will be 
not will be good for everyone. Some of the way we, some of the low, some of the high, some of the medium. It's not a, it's not a point completely, right? Actually, the beauty means means internal of the power. Uh, many of the people will damage uh, their uh, confidence or the, their uh, man kindness, uh, their uh, hope. They will lose by their. Uh, uh, yes, so we cannot find out. We cannot find out. We cannot find out. Even the. Psycho like saying also can be break by this Fat right. people, dark people are also coming to this stage, so this type, the construction of beauty can be... Like, uh, there are some points to this. Yeah. Actually, we are talking about the beauty conversations. Is it necessary? Yeah. I am going with the point that this is necessary. Like, uh, I will come to it. What I am saying that? Actually, they are representing the country. You guys are just missing your point. If it is the world competition, they are representing the entire one thirty crores of people. Why should we represent it in, in the beauty only? We can And they are working for their individual identity. If they got the identity, they will, they will become the influencers. If they become the influencers, they can work for the acid attack. They, they can work for the reproduction. They can work for the people who got kidnapped. They can work for the uh, so many workers, so many fundraisers, so many things, so many. I saw so many people, even Aishwarya Rai also. She is also one of our world champions. From India, she represented India, man. We, we just first point out there. Why? Because uh, if they represent, uh, even in, in India or in any uh, country, there is a point called women are not uh, are not fit for the society and they are so weak and they are, um, and they are, they are standing on that point. And they are uh, showing that yeah, we are enough to work with people. We are enough. We are enough to work with the men. Yeah, we have the rest. Yeah, yeah, of course, we don't have muscles and so and stuff. Yeah, we don't have money. Yeah, but we have beauty. We have inner beauty. We, even though, um, yeah, as Prayaga said, from Africa also there are so many beauty competitors and the, and so many win that competition also. Why are you not uh, getting that point? Yeah, if it is the skin color, if it is the something which we call color and something, that why? Is, that is the matter. That is the matter. I am saying that this is not necessary for the society because if you told that that you you should also up, you mention Africa, so some African people they think why why, why mentioning why 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 why, why he is mentioning color because the reason where this is comes from because that the shows that if there is a shows. There is a fashion shows on beauty context. Mm -hmm. Then the point is comes. Then you why that is why you are you talk about you mentioning about Africa or Europe or white people or black people. Why? Ah, what is it? If, if the beauty is the beauty is the beauty. Yes, yes. I 
I'm not sure if I not read the comments to go and comment and show them my talents that I have because I'm short on weight, etc. etc. And not only if they focus on the negatives, I guess positive for the new contestants because if I am to go and represent my country and we then I've put my country in the world, right? From the Donna we have this university paper of the whole and I'm sure other people never knew that the country from the Zona. They started knowing what the country by then and then in the age of I'm sure I'm not sure South Africa those really things want the consciousness, the beauty pageant. And I'm sure by then other people never knew that the country like that they got to pay. So they source the country. It benefits the country, not only does it benefit but they also benefit the country and it boosts the career of the women contestants, right? Because they get to, to get endorsements, they get to it's financial benefit when you win the something for you. So it improves your life at a certain point or somehow. Then the personal growth because you manage to be in the international stage, you manage to interact with people from different parts of the globe. That way you get to yeah, you get to be exposed to different cultures and everything. So let, uh, let me add one more, okay? For students of management, we need to consider the prime value and prime marketing aspect of beauty okay? So uh, by by having this beauty competition, our brand or our business uh, company having a like a pressure or a trust in this market. Okay? So uh, students of management, like uh, we can see the positive aspects of having a beauty pageant uh, competitions and all these things. What these competitions and all these things will do positively for our brand, right? So, uh, in marketing, we know we know the importance of marketing in our business. So, uh, many of these beauty competitions are a source of our are a platform of uh, business firms to market their product, market their uh, like all these things in the, to the public world. So I think uh, marketing or marketing or brand marketing or brand value increasing is also another aspect of another positive aspect regarding to this beauty pageant. That's only that's only going that uh, the brand marketing or the brand. Yeah. They they are how only recruiting they are the one the models they how only the the brand marketing is the consumers of that. The last two minutes beauty shows or the fashion shows yeah, yeah. because uh, if the marketing or the market of the industry, that industry is that they have so many another way to market them. Yeah. They have only the someone comes, someone comes with a good dress and they got some makeup and they comes with and they uh, spoke one minute for others. Then how if, if I spoke con friendly for one minute, then you can get my one friend. I can act that I can act. But if I if I am studying something to stay say for one minute. I can say, it's very confident I can say, you cannot judge my conference with one minute, within one minute. So, the, uh, the brand marketing or the brand, uh, they have the, so many ways to market their product. The sh this is not necessary. The fashion show, uh, the is, yes, this, this is one of the ways. That, that is the one pros of uh, the fashion show. That is the only one pros. The marketing strategy, and the, uh, they can market the products using the marketing strategy. And the models can get a career also. Career also in that that way. There is no one. Yeah, not only one. So many. Yeah, I want to ask. 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 I want
there is nothing like that. I'm, I'm like, you know, taking efforts to nurture all that. And using all those cosmetics and all that, you're actually altering the, uh, the uh, original of us, right? So, I have, so, uh, I have a, um, uh, a man who go to gym and uh, gaining some body, it's, it's all people are appreciating. That's a health. Why? That's a you know, why? Health. Why? 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 If I, I, just to be ended, if there is yeah, no requirement to end, just how I, we just have some requirements. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 like, if, if we have the abilities, we should show it in the competition. Like she is saying, not only in the first, first of all, to enter in the competition, there is a height, there is a height you mentioned that we want, there is a weight that we mentioned that we want. There are a lot of aspects of the duties just before you can go and notice what you want. There is no that kind of requirement. They just look at requirements. Yeah, there is a that, that kind of requirement. Of, you know, requirement. Uh, that, that kind of limitations. Okay, there if there is no that kind of things, that that's a good. That's that's so good. Yeah. All can actually good. Ah. So I think I my point is that one there are eight hundred crores of people. The beauty there is, there is no any requirement. Eight hundred crores will join. How it will be? If the eight hundred crores people just registered for that, how it will be? Everyone wants to say everyone wants to That's the individual opinion. That's what I'm saying. If they want to come they will come. If they have requirement, they will come. That's what the point is not like that. Like that. Of course, yes. yeah. that criteria is not. Uh, I, I, my point is that criteria are the only said that they need a some that some height, so some weight or some body looking. Something ah, something yeah. beauty in her face or fair skin. That is not. If the requirement is only for if I'm if uh, that that to me like uh, how I am spoke or how I am uh, behaviors. That's also fine. That time that's okay. No. Okay, but the actually. There is no, that, that's only, there are some requirements, there are some beauty requirements, body, in our body there are some requirements. In the, in, uh, next few years I hope like this, this type of stereotypes or this type of stigma will uh, remove and people perception of beauty. Okay, can can be be okay. if, if it happens, it will be not happen, so. Okay. I think it's time to come back to this question because we are running out of time. So for everything we have both pros and cons, and for beauty contest also we have both the uh, sides. But I think in the coming years maybe we'll have to rethink all the criteria which, which is set to enter into this competition and we look forward. Okay, my side is also the same as Shana. There are both pros as well as cons uh, cons uh, for this beauty basing competition. So we should go and look into it and uh, analyze it. Yeah. I'm also going with that. All beauty con uh, competitions are uh, competitions are necessary. Like uh, they also, uh, it's also a career for a lot of people and a lot of brands. It's an industry actually. It gives a lot of people. It's job to a lot of people. And some uh, criteria can. Be, criteria matters. So uh, criteria is changing. And I am going with uh, yeah, uh, for a beauty career competition. Competitions are so necessary well, because they are representing their country. After getting into that and selecting and winning that competition, they are doing so many uh, uh, fundraisings and working for so many as great like teacher and as great like uh, girls and working for great people. Uh, there are so many things. You can see the positives also. Yeah, in, in every pond, in every freshwater pond, there is a mud. You don't see the mud. If you want to drink the water, you will drink the water. If you want to get the mud, you will get the mud. So, don't go into the negative way. You have positives also. Just make sure to think in the positive way. I totally oppose this decision because uh, beauty is not a necessary. Actually, okay, let's try in 25 minutes. Thank you.